Hey guys, Colin here, and I am just running through um, one really good run I had. Um, this very first run here, um, I just teleported here. I hadn't done anything before this. I just summoned my spirit bird, terror bird, and um, so, I mean, you can just jump right in this whenever you want to. And so right now, I just took off from the bank. I take a pretty direct route right on through, and, um, you know, there's a few spots you can pick in this area but I like uh, the spot right up next to the gate most and that's just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like walking very far now you need the uh, silver sickle blessed and then you run in the middle of as many logs as you can I think the most you can find is three in one spot though and you cast bloom and that takes away um, from one to six prayer every time and it can produce either one to three fungus at a time so it's really um I mean sometimes you'll have a really bad run and sometimes you'll end and you'll have like 15 prayer left in a full inventory so it, it's just all chance it's like gambling almost um, the first thing you want to do is just run to the spot get comfortable make sure no one's there um, the very first thing I had to do in my uh, test is I had to hop worlds because um, it's just one of those things and um, you have to respect other people that are there because if you don't I don't know it's, I just like having a good environment I like having positive people around and if you just steal someone's spot you're generally not going to have very good uh, <laughs> conversations or a very good environment around you so I'll generally be all by myself when I do this um, not that I'm anti-social <laughs> but uh, just for the fact that Generally, if you're there, someone else, you know, they generally bring friends with them so they can talk or whatever. And uh, it generally turns into a bad situation if you try stealing a spot. Um, now, I'm progressing along here. Um, I'm down, I'm pretty low on prayer, but I'm still just hacking away at this. And I think I'm just about done. This is my last pick, I'm pretty sure, or second to last. Here we go. <clears throat> and um, so... I really, I can't pressure enough the idea of a good environment around you if you're still in people's spot or whatever. It's just really not fun then to be, I mean, think if you were the other person, someone just ran up and took your spot. I mean, it's happened to everyone at least at some point, you know, people stealing other monsters or something that you're fighting. Um, you just want to respect other people. That's, I mean, just a really important part. You can see I uh, also got a raven in my menagerie now. Uh, that's a new addition. And um, he actually took me a little while, but I just grew him up while I was mining for a while there. Um, I dropped this off. One full load of Mortmire fungus usually comes in around 50k. Now, as the prices are altering around, you know, jumping up and down, I'm not going to say it's going to be that forever. It'll probably go up because, in my opinion, there's more money going into RuneScape than coming out. So there's a lot of new wealth in this game. And, I mean, as you can see, basically every single price in this game is going up. Rare items are going up. God, God armor and God weapons are going up. Now, I just because I hate when people do a, like a two-minute segment and say, well, two times... 30 equals 60 which is one hour so if you do this 30 times then this is how much money you make so instead what I did is I ran a one hour segment not even it was like 57 minutes or 55 minutes or something I ran a 55 minute segment so this isn't even one hour of me doing this and I made 840,000 gold that's a lot of money for 55 minutes um so I mean this is a great way to make money I love Mortmeyer fungus um now you see I'm not really messing around much though I just go straight through um, while I have this going I'll generally be like watching YouTube videos right now I was, I was listening to Pandora which is a great system for um, like listening to the radio but it's more customizable to your taste. I really recommend it to everyone. It's a great system. Um, 
so I'm just moving along here. I'm collecting as much fungus as I can, as quickly as I can. Um, here I had to leave early for my uh, terror bird, and uh, I was pretty frustrated about that. My time was pretty bad, badly off since I had a hop world right away at the beginning, um, before I started recording. Um, so I just keep hacking away at it, and I think I'm up, let's see... I can't even, <laughs> it's going too fast for me to see. By the end, I think I clicked uh, 500 and some fungus, I think. Somewhere around there. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, and so I just keep hacking away. Um, some of my goals, I am 50% away to uh, 90 wood cutting from my previous 86. Um, I think I just went under 300,000 from level 88 to 89. So I'm moving along on that goal. Um, I have a lot of people pressuring me to be in their in my video, so I'm gonna have my next little section here for all the people who don't have a house. We'll be over that. Um, this uh, little section is almost over, so I will talk to you again when my next vid part is up. Hey guys, okay, calm here, and uh, this is the last section. This is for people who don't have a house. Now uh, you can just run over here, cast a bloom, you know, whatever, fill up your inventory, fill up your beast of burden, just grab a few of these monsters here, and, uh, uh, okay, just so you know, this is God Loves you. This is my uh, clan leader, um, also known as Edna Mode 2, one cool cat, and here's another uh, clan member, and this is uh, some random person. Notice that he's level 124, even the big guys do this. Um, so this is a really good good place. I love this place actually. Really good money, even if you don't have a house. So um, uh, what you do is you'd fill up like you usually do. Just run over here, cast your bloom, boop, and uh, collect the fungus. And then from here, let me tell them to come with me. And from here, you just run, okay, and you just. Go okay. I'm gonna slow down for Edna, cause Edna's really slow. <laughs> He's gonna laugh at that one. Okay, but um, so you just keep moving from here, and you go down south. Um, I always have my camera facing north. Um, so you run south, all the way until you get to the entrance of the maze, and from there you're gonna jump over to the grotto now if you've done nature spirit which I surely hope you're doing that you've done that if you're doing uh, Mortmire fungus because it's kind of a requirement um, but you jump over onto this little island and I fail again and uh, <laughs> I uh, can't type okay but you jump in here you go uh, run in here and you pray at the grotto and uh, from here you can just run right straight back out it's that easy it's not difficult you just run and let's see if I can make it maybe I can wow okay everyone just so you see I really do have 64 agility that is sad okay um, now I'm just going to run back to the bank or get kind of close there. Um, I'm probably going to be making more videos. Uh, I want to make this a really good video. I've been working on this since yesterday. I want to make this really good because this is the first video that I actually had enough quality, <laughs> such as good video and good audio, to actually make it worth your while to watch it. And uh, it's kind of a celebration. First video up with good quality and, you know, all that. And uh, I wanted to put this information out on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of other guides, but, um, you know, it's just kind of fun to watch a commentary on it. Um, from here, haha, <laughs> he's got bad agility. From here, you just keep running up. You go to the bank, and that is how you run. And uh, it was fun. Call him signing out.